Hi, I was asked to do a tutorial on Project Wonderful. I started to write it and that wasn't working very well, so I decided video would be better. The assumption I'm making is you already have a Project Wonderful account and can log into it. I'm also assuming that you already have money in your account. For example, I have $5.84 and that you're looking for advertising. So if you go to advertising and search for new places to bid, that will bring you to this page. So now you're probably wondering what you're looking at. Let's go through their tabs. On the traffic tab, you can search for advertising that occurs in these regions. So let's make the assumption that we only want to advertise in the United States right now. The traffic on the sites that we want, we want a minimum of one hit per day and a maximum. I can't believe that you would want maximum hits. The more hits, the better. You may want more traffic than one hit a day, so you can change this number. I'm going to 100. Look at over the past five days. So now we're not going to get any sites to advertise on that are outside of the United States or have less than a hundred hits. This is what we want to display after we search. We want graphs, we want each region separately. We're only looking for one region so we don't care at this point. And we want to return all regions or return only the regions that meet my criteria criteria we're only searching in one so that makes more sense I could search right now or I could set other criteria on this search for my ad so let's look at bidding bidding includes historical bids current bids and minimum bids Include sites with an average of CPD and CPM. This is cost per day and cost per mile, which is cost per click. So if you want to put something in here, you can. The current bid includes sites whose current bid is between, and this is where you can set your uh, minimums and maximums that you want to spend per day. When you're bidding on a site, on, uh, excuse me, an ad on Project Wonderful, the cost that you're bidding is per day, not per click. So if you want to spend 25 cents a day, which is $7.50 a month, you want to put your current bid between, leave that one blank, and 25 cents. That way it won't return any sites that you can't afford. Now again, I could search right now, or I could have more criteria. So let's look at sizes and categories. If you've developed an ad that you want to use, it's going to be one of these dimensions listed here across this ribbon. If you haven't developed an ad, you're just trying to find out what advertising is available, and when you find a site that really intrigues you, you'll make an ad to suit it, you can check them all. My ad is square, 125 by 125, so delete all the sites that offer advertising in these other shapes for this search. There are category groups down here, which are going to install I include a lot of the specific categories that are below. So if you're doing something like books, you would just choose this and it will pick up all the things from the next group down, or comics or crafts and hobbies. If you notice, I clicked crafts and hobbies and now art and design is checked, handmade, hobbies, home and garden, all these things were checked. You don't have to choose one of these you can come down here into the categories and click only things that you want. I'm also assuming that you want to sell something that's handmade. So these people would be shopping. It's handmade. Um, maybe it's hobbies and collectibles. Maybe it's something for your home. Uh, you make stuff for f kids and families. Um, certainly it's artsy. Just read through these and see what, um, excuse me, what relates to what you're doing. 
and check them all. And once again, I could search right now, but let's look at the other things before we do that. The site description tab, in here you can search for sites with something particular in their name. Maybe you want sites that only have the word handmade in your name. At, at one point, I wanted to advertise on sites that uh, were directed at Etsy users because I was trying to pull people away from Etsy. It worked good too. But you can do this or you don't have to do this. You can search for particular sites. Uh, you can search for particular tags. Uh, sites have said handmade, quilts, baby, unique, art, whatever. Referrers are you want sites where a big site is referring to this other place. I've never used this page. And ratings and restrictions, I just check them all. Uh, I really don't care if it's adult content or whatever. If somebody looking at an adult content site that fits all of my other criteria and happens to have adult content, that's okay with me. But if it's not okay with you, uncheck this. So now we're at the point where we've looked at all the tabs. Let's do a search. And wow, look at all these results you got from your criteria. Looks like a whole bunch of them. In fact, there's nine whole pages of results. So let's discuss what these columns mean. The, this, the add box ID is this number. You really don't care. The ad on this page is a square ad. That's all I searched for. This is the name of the website, what they specialize in according to themselves. Uh, here's their, their uh, logo. Here's the countries they advertise in. We only searched for United States. This is the average page view per day over the past five days. Right now this column is sorted in descending order. So this is the page with the most hits over the last five days that meets our criteria. If we want to advertise on this page, it will cost us a minimum of six cents. That's the current bid. These are the traffic trends over the past 30 days, the bid trends over the past 30 days. You see this was higher. It was up around a dollar for a while and now it's down to six cents. This is a good buy right now. These are the dimensions. It's square. Get more details on the site or go ahead and place a bid. You can sort these uh, results by anything that's in blue at the top of the, cat, the columns here. So if you want to search them by bids, let's do it. You can do that and it will search, um, it will put them in order by the lowest bid to the highest bid. So now that the search is completed, you'll notice that the current bid is zero and it's going to go up from there. But for zero money, you can advertise on this site that gets 126 average page views per day. And that's about what it runs, somewhere between there and 220 is the top on the chart. So there's not a lot of people looking at this page, but it's not going to cost you anything either. This is another one. It's $0 for 485 bids. Uh, and they're pretty much the ones for zero cents are going to get not too much traffic. But you could advertise on a lot of sites for zero cents. And it's nothing more, even if it's nothing more than just getting your name out there, it's costing you zero dollars. But I'm really partial to getting some traffic even if I have to spend some money. So I'm going to go back one page so it's resorted by uh, highest to lowest page hits. So now that it's again sorted by uh, tra daily traffic in descending order, I'm scrolling down here and I'm noticing that a site called This Mama Makes Stuff has 2,500 hits per day and right now it's zero cents. It looks like it's been as high as about 15 cents and dropped to zero and then went back up to probably 12 or 13 and right now it's down at zero again. 
They run square ads, three of them, and, you know, top to bottom like that. This sounds pretty interesting. Let's take a look at the site. So here we are on this Mama Make Stuff. This is a very nice looking page, but where would my ad be if I bid on this right now? So I can scroll down the page a little bit and I find a red box right here. Your ad here. That's a nice place. It's close to the top of the page and it's not going to cost me anything. So let's bid on this ad. On American Traffic with iMint3, that's the name of my ad, I'm going to bid five cents. And then click. And it says you're now the high box at zero dollars per day. Congratulations. Yay. So now I want to go back to Project Wonderful and explain the information you get about this ad. So back on Project Wonderful's page, if you hover over Advertising and then click My Bids, it will take you to a page showing all of your bids. Right now I have only one winning bid on this Mama Make Stuff with this. This is the ad that's running. It's in the United States. My maximum is five cents per day. So far I've spent nothing because my high bid right now is zero. I didn't set a maximum. I could say I want to spend five cents a day up to 50 cents. I didn't do that. I left it no maximum. And there's no clicks yet or no views. Let me show you an ad where there are clicks and views so you can see what it looks like. I had a an ad spot on It's Better Handmade for a while. I was running it in the United States, Canada, and Europe. It has expired. It was the same ad. My max per day was 12 cents and I spent a total of 53 cents on this ad. So for my 53 cents, I got 5,314 visitors to this page of which 3,800 of them were unique. I got seven clicks for my 53 cents, which means my cost per click was eight cents. That's what information it's giving you. Now, if I wanted to put my ad back on its better and handmade, I could click duplicate this ad. I could also get some more detailed statistics. But basically right now, so this is just an example of all the information you can get. Let's go back to the ad we just placed. So we're back to this Mama Make Stuff ad, the bid we just placed and won. I still have no views and no clicks. It's been running five minutes, so I'm not upset. But let's say it's been running three weeks and now the bid is four cents a day because other cent people came and bid on these ad sites and pushed the cost up a little bit. And let's say I've still got no clicks after two or three weeks. It's all I have to do is click cancel this ad and it's immediately stopped. Also, the default on Project Wonderful is two weeks. So when you place a, a bid using the default, it's going to expire in two weeks. If you want to alter this ad, you can edit it by clicking edit and it will roll you to another page where you can change this expiration date. Maybe I only want it to run one week. So it's going to expire the 28th right now. Maybe I only want it to run one week. Now it's only going to run seven days. And then you just click save. Or maybe the, if the bids keep going up and you've hit the maximum bid or gotten out bid and you want to still have this ad running because it's doing really well so you want to increase your maximum bid. You can do all those things on this page. So that covers one type of advertising available on Project Wonderful. You find a site, you place your ad. But they also have campaigns. And what a campaign is, is you set parameters for types of sites you want to bid on. The same way we searched for ads. But you say, I'm willing to spend how much you, a day it is, 
and then Project Wonderful will automatically go out every day and bid on sites that meet your some some or all of your criteria with, up to your maximum per day. I have campaign running right now, and my maximum bid on any site is five cents, and my maximum per day budget is fifty cents. It's active in the United States, Canada, and Europe. So far on my campaign, I've spent $71.04. Today, I've spent $0.21 cents out of my $0.50 cents per day. But for my $71, I've gotten 433 clicks. So it's costing me about $0.16 cents per click. The pages that my ad has been on have had a million and a half views over the time this has been running. A campaign is easy for you because once you set it up you don't have to do anything. On my sales I do ask my customers how did you find me and I get enough response uh, to that question through an ad I saw on Lottie.page that Project Wonderful Advertising Campaign is worth it to me because the only ad that I found that I have running right now is the one we just bid on in this video. I hope this helped you and that you can use Project Wonderful to your best advantage. It's a great way to find advertising for as little as $5 a month.